is, is a place where we, where things seem like this happened, just out of aid that, uh, that we as the body of Christ, that we need to say, Jesus came to give us the healing power that he had on earth today. Yeah. And we have to be in a place that we are willing to do that for, for because the church is a supernatural thing. We're supposed to be supernatural beings. The world, and don't, don't take me wrong, the world can cook uh, pies and cookies and take them to the neighbors. And those are good things. Go ahead and do stuff like that to, to open up the door to witness to people, whatever it takes. Shovel their sidewalk if it snows. Whatever it takes, you, you do it, whatever it takes. But we're called to be supernatural beings. He said, this is how you know my church. And he lists the things that we'll be doing and, uh, in Mark 16. And the question I have for tonight, and, and the message has been cut a little short, but it's not important that the message was cut short because this is the message. The message is to be able to see our loved ones healed instantly by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ because we're operating in the supernatural realm. But where are we as individuals? And in a second, uh, Jonathan's going to go up and he's going to turn on that, that song and... Uh, He's going he's gonna to begin to play and pray that song. I pledge allegiance to the Lamb. And as that happens, uh, what I'd like you to do, and uh, I don't know exactly how the pastor does communion here exactly, but what I'd like you to do is just to come forward and, and get the, 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 the cracker, the bread, and get the cup, and, uh, and then go back to your seat and uh, or to the altars, wherever you feel like you should be personally. And... Uh, and then when, you're, when you get to that place, and you may want to do it corporately, Pastor, that's up to you, but when you get to that place where you know that you know that you're ready to commit to that intimacy, that daily intimacy with the Lord, and the Holy Spirit will help you do it. Don't, don't put too much on yourself. The Holy Spirit, if your intent is right, the Holy Spirit will help you do it, right? And I just want you to, to take that, and I want you to take the bread. Remember, he gave his life on the cross. He says, every man that hangs on the cross is cursed. He gave us that. He gave us that. In Deuteronomy 28, it talks about the curses of sickness and disease that come upon the world. It's not supposed to come upon us. And that's why he went there. Just as his blood went to make sure that we could go to heaven, his body was hung on that tree. It says in Galatians that every man is cursed and hangs on the tree. So as that song plays, and don't wait for the whole song to finish, as the song plays, come up and get the bread, come up and get the cup. And then go wherever you feel led to go. And, and then you can either take it between you and the Lord, or if you want to wait, if the pastor wants to do it corporately, that's up to him. But um, that's, we, need to, we need to make that commitment. We need to make that commitment. So you want to go ahead and start that? Dad, has it always been 